Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful day here in Massachusetts. Uh, it's nice to be home. I've been busy, busy. Um, so I'm going to do a video today on all the things that I'm going to change, uh, work on, tweak uh, before my next road trip, which is in two weeks. Heading up to Maine to Acadia National Park with some van life gal pals. So that's where I'll be going next. So I'm going to get these things fine tuned for that. And it will be uh, a whole different van life experience uh, with that kind of a trip than the trip I just did. It's just different. Um, you know, when you're in a parking lot in, a, in an apartment complex and you have an apartment to go up to, it's a little different than being at a campsite. Uh, so I look forward to uh, experimenting uh, to see how that works with this van and how I manage in that environment. So come on in. So what I have noticed is that there's two things that move when I drive, and there's a lot of things that don't move when I drive that I have been securing. And I am, I am feeling that it's unnecessary to secure things. The first thing that always falls down is this. <laughs> this fell down last night when I went to the grocery store. So this is easy peasy. I'm just going to give that a couple of pieces, a couple of pieces of tape and that will stay up there. Um, so another thing that's been falling that I wasn't expecting is this. See this frame that goes around the Maxi F fan. So what Bill said to me, he said the screw holes here and it, you screw it in. Most people are screwing it in to wood because most people have a wood ceiling. I don't have a wood ceiling. He said, so there's really nothing to screw it into. So um, I figured I would talk to Bob about it. And I said, what do you think? What do you think? Like, should I put a little screw? And even if it just screws into the um, corrugated plastic, just a little short screw. Um, so we both thought that it would just stay. It just, it goes in and it stays. But what happens with the vibration after it vibrates and vibrates from driving, I get this. This just, this falls. <laughs> so something has to be done about this. So I, I, you know, I don't want to glue it in because what if I ever need to take it out for something, you know? So to put it back in, I need to get this like all lined up perfectly like that. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking two short screws right there into the corrugated plastic. And if it goes past the corrugated plastic, it will go into the insulation, which is another half an inch thick. So I know that neither one of those things are like screwing into wood, but um, I think it will keep it up there. I also even thought a couple of pieces of white duct tape. You know, I could just put some white duct tape. But I'll ask my friend Bob what he thinks would be the best way. But that thing was coming out. I was like, no, no. So that has to be fixed. Another thing is... Um, you know, I'm noticing right here that this, this is right here next to me. It hasn't been a serious problem, um, uh, because, you know, when I need to get into bed, I just flip like this, I go like this and I'm in bed, I'm in bed. So, um, it's not terribly convenient to have to go around this, but that's what happens when you pick a tiny, tiny, tiny space. Okay. Nothing's easy. Don't expect it to be easy and then you won't get aggravated. So when I need to get out of bed, I just go like this and I go like this. Okay. But I was thinking, you know, I have about three inches on this side. See right here. I'm going to bring this table all the way to the end and I'm going to, um, uh, put a bracket down, bracket it to the floor. Also, I'm going to push this over so that it's it's not hanging off of this edge. See how it hangs off of this edge? 
And I'll tell you why I want to do this for two reasons. Just to have a, a little bit more room for getting in and out of bed, but also to have a little bit more room to get into this bucket. So I've been going into this bucket, getting like a pear, I get an avocado, but I need to, uh, I need to move this over. So I'm also noticing that when I use, okay, that the, the idea of using this for a table, although it's wonderful in theory, it's not wonderful because it's, it's just in the way. It's in the way, it's not practical for me to put this down as a table, even with these, these boards. I'm wondering if it will be useful at all when I am camping at a campground, when I'm not even using the bed and I'm, and I, and I have this down, perhaps using it to put things on to access from outside. But for right now, I didn't take that down once because what would I have to do if, when I have to get out of the, when I, if I'm laying down here having lunch, so 15 minutes later, now I have to figure out what's on here, move it somewhere so I can get it out of the way. That's actually happening when I use this right here. So I have my water here, my phone here, and, and um, you know, my tea or whatever. And then, you know, um, if I need to get anything in here, then it's, it's in the way. So I have to move things. Uh, also, I don't have a place to put my dish. But I do actually, I figured out that I have this spot right here. So see this, this spot right here is where I, I stick my breakfast or I stick my salad. And then I, I get into position where I like to lay here and lounge while I eat. But uh, it's a little tight. So what I'm gonna do is move, I have, this, I have this screwed in and bolted down. That needs to move over. So that's gonna move over so I have more space right here to put my food on. So that's going to be kind of my table. I actually also thought about maybe uh, putting a piece of wood on here to make this wider because right now it's only this wide. And of course, I can put a dish on that this wide and it just balances out. But I thought about perhaps making it about maybe uh, two inches wider on each side just to have a bigger surface to put, to have almost like, like a table. I also decided that I do not enjoy that red sheet i just don't enjoy it like i don't like i don't like it it's boring so i need to look for some new sheet fabric something that's just uh something that strikes me better and i'm going to make a, a new sheet out of it um you know make a custom sheet with with the new fabric so uh, that's not an emergency to do i just put this 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 other one on for now the other one's in the wash right now, and the comfort is in the wash right now. Everything's working out perfect with the freezer. I am so grateful. So what I did was um, I let this air out overnight, and what I did was I just stuck this little this little rubber thing. It's a little rubber disc. I don't even know what it is, but I'm just I'm just putting it right here like that. Just I don't like to for some reason when you close these up and you close a cooler up. It just gets a little stinky. Sometimes it can get a little weird. So I just, I'm just keeping it open that crack with some ventilation. So that's working out good. Over here, so what I'm noticing now is if I drive and I do not put a bungee here and I do not put a bungee here and I don't bungee anything, nothing moves. Nothing moves for thousands of miles. Nothing moves. This doesn't move. If, if, if it moves, it comes out an inch. If these move, it comes out like this. I can't, I, I don't take corners really sharp and I don't, um, I don't drive fast. I'm like 60 miles an hour. I know it says 65. I usually go 60 and then I see 70 and I, I still tend to go 60. I'm a 60 mile an hour kind of gal. Um, and I take my corners very, very slow because I don't want, because this, you know, when, when you're driving in a van that's full of stuff like this, like you just hear, I mean, I'm listening, I can hear the dishes moving in the drawer. I can hear, you know, you can hear stuff rattling and I just take corners very slowly and, um, nothing moves. Now I know there are people that believe that things need to be bungee down for safety because, so things are going to take off and 
hit me when I drive. But you know something? I think we all have things in our vehicles that are not tied down. When I go grocery shopping, I don't tie down my groceries. But heck, a, a canned good can come, come flying out of the can and hit me in the head if I if I got in an accident. You know, it's like I, I don't want to uh, – the likelihood of things – I always consider the likelihood of things, and I decided that I'm not going to deal with uh, bungees. I don't need to bungee anything. I don't need to bungee anything. I feel comfortable not putting a bungee on anything. If my supplement drawer flies out and I got supplements bottles everywhere, like, is that a life or death situation? I mean, they're all plastic, you know? If, if, if my dishes fall out, nothing's glass, nothing's going to break. If anything falls out, I, I'm, I don't see a life or death situation. So I am not going to bother myself with bungees. You know, the very, very first time that something falls out and breaks, causes a mess, uh, you know, appears like it could have been a close call, dangerous, blah, 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 then, I'll, then I will consider doing things like that. But I'm not doing that now. So over here in this cabinet, um, so I was using it for clothes and laundry. And I think um, it's best I'm going to use it for shoes on this side because I can really stack them up and they can even go higher than higher than the door. And over here, I'll just stuff bags of dirty laundry. It's really, um, uh, there's less space in here than you think because there's a wheel well in there, which is most of the space. <laughs> um, I did never, I never did get to the store and get new latches. These latches are absolutely horrific. What I did over here is for a band-aid, because this one was worse, is I just put a I put a, um, uh, a zip tie on here <laughs> so I could go like this and, and, and hook it on the zip tie. That was my little band-aid so it wouldn't keep opening because it won't reach in there anymore. I don't know. Things got out of whack. I don't know. I don't like them. And I already saw what I like, but I'm anticipating maybe the same problem if I get the little... The little black latches, the kind that you, you, that slide in and out. I just picture like, are those going to go out of whack? You know, so I will uh, I will figure out what I'm going to do. Somebody had suggested just a like a like a piece of wood and just screw it on, and then you just turn it and turn it. You know, like a I forget what you call those, but just turn it straight up to open it. Turn it this way to close it. So. Um, who knows? Perhaps I'll do that. Oh, another thing I noticed was that sometimes this cabinet can get a little warm. Well, I was in 90 degrees. I don't enjoy 90 degrees. I wasn't planning on 90 degrees. But even with the insulation, um, especially up in this corner right here, it was getting warm. So I moved everything down, like any kind of um, like my supplements and stuff. I had everything. I had everything low, and this all stayed cool. This all stayed cool. And um, so that's something I have to consider when I pack these, that these get a little bit warm. Okay. The cooler. Okay. I love this cooler. It's 120 quarts. It's the perfect size for me. That's, how, that's what I need. If I had a 12-volt uh, a refrigerator that had this capacity, it would be this big and this high it would be massive because of um you need place for the motor and the very thick walls of it like that 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 um freezer that i have down there you know it's like it's like this tall this wide and you open it up and like you could fit like a head of lettuce in it it's like there's no there's no space in it so this is what i need for all my food now I have been shopping. I have been searching for a cooler this size. I am willing to go down to 100 quart, but no lower. So between 100 and 120 quarts, that's lower. Because if I could just have another inch. See, right now, if I stand up straight, my head touches the, touches the ceiling. Um, it's, and I, and you know, I, I'm not, I don't really sit up straight like this. I get terrible posture. So I always, I'm always kind of like this. So I'm, I'm, it's okay, you know, but like, you know, when my hair gets long, I feel it hits the ceiling, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so 
I found a 100 quart cooler and I that was looked very similar to this and I was like oh my god it's 20 quarts smaller this is amazing so I, I looked it up and I looked at the dimensions it was actually taller than this one it's just it just wasn't as as long but it was taller it was an inch taller so I'm trying to find one that's an inch shorter I have not been successful so I had this idea and I'll have to run this by my friend Bob too because he knows about this kind of stuff insulation and I thought about see I'm looking at this cover this cover is like four or five inches thick it's a very 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 thick cover and I thought I had this idea and I don't know if it's a dumb one it's either dumb or it's brilliant what that what I, what my idea was is to cut a piece of wood like half inch plywood probably about a half an inch wider than the whole top of this and then get a piece of one inch thick because i was looking at this 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 space right here see where it see this this uh plastic right here so it would be an inch thick i thought about an inch of that uh, what do you call those foam boards like the big foam boards that people actually use for wall insulations and stuff if I got an inch thick and I cut a piece the size of this of this the the uh, inside perimeter of this an inch wide or even it could be two inches wide but right over here it would have to be um, notched out and then glue that to the bottom of the wood right so now if i put the wood on the cooler this one to two inch of foam board is sitting inside the cooler and then i'm only up a half an inch then i can put like a, a cushion for comfort maybe an inch thick cover it with fabric and it wouldn't be four inches thick it would be an inch and a half thick that's what I'm thinking. Brilliant. Ah, uh, what are you thinking? <laughs> I don't know what the flaw what the flaw would be, um, but that is what I'm thinking, and that would solve that problem because it's not that it's um, not that it's a problem, not that it's a problem. It's just you know it's a comfort thing. Um, the only thing I would not enjoy. I I do like you know, opening this and having it just stand like that. Um, I don't know if I could put it on the hinge because see over here, see the, um, the, uh, the screws here. So you can hinge something, but I don't know if that's feasible to do that um, with what I'm thinking, which would mean I would have to take it off and put it down. And then, um, you know, that just not terrible but um i don't know i think i want to try to work with what i have get rid of this big thick thick cover and just insulate it really well at the top this insulation that i put in this in this cooler for this trip amazing amazing effectiveness so i i put a piece on the on the um inside of the cover right here i made another piece so that whenever my food is getting low, I can just press it down like this right into the food to keep that coolness um, contained. Um, also, what I did was um, just to keep it from getting yucky, I put this, um, this is one of those contractor bags that, that you get at Lowe's. Um, they're big, big, huge um, trash bags that are extra thick. They're for contractors to, to put trash in from from job sites. So what I did was I took one and I just made, I just lined the whole thing with it just to keep it from getting yucky down there. So that worked out really well. So that's, I that is not in my video when I made these because I made a video on making these, uh, making this and this and this. So um, amazing. At, the, at tw 24 hours... When I'm, when I'm ready to swap these out, 
I swap them out every 24 hours. I open this, it's still cool in there. And the ice packs still feel cool to the touch. But I swap them out because now I got ones that are frozen solid. And then I'm telling you, everything is cold. It's amazing. I don't know if making this cover that I'm talking about is going to affect that, but I think if it's insulated enough, I think it might be doable. So as per usual, I ran into some technical difficulties. Uh, my, I had, I remembered my mic, which was wonderful. But then when I went to go edit this complete video of all the tweaks I was going to do, um, there were a few things at the end. My mic ran out of power, so there was no audio. So this is a different day. I'm inside the garage because it's raining out. And um, I am going to go over the last few things on my last recording that there was no audio. So um, another thing that um, I'm going to have to tweak is these drawers, they're, they're wonderful. They just, I love how little space they take up and how much stuff they hold. But see how they have these ridges. See these ridges right here? Okay. So what's happening is we're, we're really tight here because I had to take that, I had to take that, um, those last two cubbies off. So we're really tight. They kind of just fit. They kind of just fit. They have like, oh, maybe like if I push this one all the way over here and this one all the way over here, I have maybe a half inch. So what's happening when I'm opening them sometimes is the, the, the ridges are locking into each other. So see, like, like if they're locked in, see, see how they just, oh, <laughs> they're locking into each other. If you can imagine, maybe you can't see it. Okay. So I need something to keep them spaced apart and I have very little space to work with. I mean, a little, putting a little, little teeny skinny board in there to almost make like a, um, a little channel for them to stay in their own lane would be ideal, but it's going to be really hard to get in there and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be such a tiny thing. So I had an idea was that on this really would only have to be done on one of them is if right here, if I could just make this smooth and I even thought these leftover, um, floor tiles that I have, the black and white floor tiles, I could just with the, with the, um, utility knife, I could just cut slices of those that are this wide, a couple of them and just stick them right here. They'll just stick on the top ridge, but then I'll have a smooth, one smooth surface. If I have one smooth surface and that won't take up much space, I thought that the ridges will never get caught into each other again. Um, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm using these straight ahead, it, I always seem to give them a little tug to the side before I do it. But if I'm outside the van and I'm trying to get something in the, in the, I'm leaning in and getting it like, it, it always gets caught in the ridges like that. So I don't want to deal with that anymore. So that's my idea, my fix for that. Maybe there's a better idea that one of you have, or maybe my friend Bob will have, but that was my fix. I thought that would be a good fix. So I'll take care of that. Just getting rid of all the little aggravating things, you know? And then another thing I realized was that I really didn't take full advantage of all these little kind of pockets of storage that I have. Um, there were, there were two pockets of storage that I discovered during my trip. I was like, I didn't even know I had these and I'm going to show you those. This is where I noticed I had some space that I never even realized I had on both of these sliding doors. I have this great big pocket right here. Now it doesn't look like, you know, I'm calling it great big, but it's in relation to the van, you know, <laughs> it's in relation to the van. So. It, it's a cup holder. I can see the circle here that's a cup holder, but I'm just seeing a packing cube full of socks could go there. You know, this is where I could keep my socks. There's another one on the other door, exactly like it. It's a great place, like a packing cube. That's what those packing cubes are great for because they can, you can put them in, they can conform, you know, rather than a hard plastic storage. Um, so I'm going to use those. And then on each of these doors, now, you know, I naturally I knew about these, the storage, but I was kind of thinking like right, right in this storage thing, I just have this, like these glass wipes, totally useless. I mean, you know, using, I don't need to have these. I don't need to have glass wipes. 
Um, I have, I can clean glass with the spray that I have. And this is a pile of space. If you come closer here, you can see this is a lot of space and it goes all the way in here. You can feel it back in here. So it's all there, all here, both sides, both sides. So utilize that space, Lulu, why don't you? Why don't you? And up over here, up over the um, driver's seat. Now, yes, I have things up there. I have my first aid kit. I have my foil and storage bags. I have um, a, a, a zippy doodle with uh, bungees and safety pins and zip ties and binder clips and elastics, all that kind of stuff. I have a, an extension cord. I have my, um, my tripods and I have a headlamp. So I do have a lot of things up there, but I could much better utilize that space. So I will be working on those little pockets of storage. I'm going to be, that's my, that's my tweak for another tweak for the next road trip coming soon to a theater near you. No, that's not, that's wrong. <laughs> wrong. So another thing I realized on this trip was these WeatherTech window covers. They're amazing. They're amazing. They fit in the windows perfectly. If I want to keep the sun out, if I want to keep the sun out of the windows, you put the silver side facing out, it will work like a charm. Uh, the black side facing out will black me out. So in my mind, uh, I was going to black out when I was sleeping at rest stops. When I got to my daughter's, I wasn't sure if I was going to feel like I wanted to black out in the parking lot of her apartment building. Um, I was just going to see how it felt. Well, you know something? The first night I was on the road, I unrolled these, put them. I just said, I'm not going to put the windshield one up. I'm just going to put the side ones up. So I did that. Worked out fine. The next night I was in bed and I forgot to put them up. And I was just like, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> Gonna bother. I said, yes, my feet are down the other end of the bed and they're right next to the window, but they're under the black comforter. And I'm like, who's going to look in here? Like, this is a, a stop full of travelers that are all pulled over. If you look at this, all license plates of people from all different states, there's truck drivers sleeping overnight. Nobody's peeping around in people's cars. Like, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling that that's happening. And if they do peep in, what are they going to see? They're going to see like me sleeping. Like, so what? So I, I just decided I'm not going to get up. I don't feel like getting up and putting them up. So I didn't. And that was the beginning of a new uh, routine. Going to bed. I don't want to put them up. I'm going to put them up. I want them. And I'm going to put them up when I want to keep sun out. If I'm sitting on the beach all day, just say I'm parked at the beach all day, these would be perfect. I would put them up. And I would open all my, I would open all my doors, let the, let the air come in and the breeze come in. But the sun on the glass can just really, really um, heat up the van. So I could keep the sun out that way. Also, if I am in an area that feels like, oh, I feel like I want, uh, it feels sketchy. No, if it was sketchy, I wouldn't be there. I wouldn't be there. Uh, I got to my daughter's apartment building. I was like, there is no reason for me to block these windows. There is nothing to see. There's nobody's going to be peeping in. Nobody's going to be peeping in. And if they're peeping in, what are they going to see? It's not like I'm naked, you know? So I decided that I want to keep these because I may want the privacy in some spots. And, you know, some of you may not agree with me. You may agree that it would be safer for me to be all closed in, that it would be, um, you know, uh, too scary not to be all closed in. That's not my experience. Um, another reason to put these up is if it's too light, like if there's a big, huge light in the middle of a Cracker Barrel parking lot that's shining in and you want it to be dark, this is what you want. But I, I, I don't know. I kind of, I like the light. I like the noise, uh, the noise of the trucks, the noise of the highway. It just all lulls me to sleep. So I decided that these are um, definitely valuable. They fit the windows wonderfully. But there's no reason for them to be taking up any real estate in my camper van right here. 
So I'm, I've decided to relocate these, and these are going to go under the bed. A little bit less convenient for me to get to, but um, I will get them when I need them. You know, when I believe that I need them for my safety or my privacy or in a, in a moment that it just feels like I want to close up. So, but what I really need, what I really want to use this space for is, all right, I have this one hook right here and I had my jacket hung on this hook. Then I would find like, I have that like red and black check shirt. Like that's kind of like a light. I use that as a lighter jacket. Then I would put that on the hook over it. Then I would like want to hang up like my my nightgown, and then I would hang up like my bra, right? So I I've got like these four things on a hook, not maybe not all at the same time. And I thought what I would like here is if I had like a like half inch plywood that went up here like this, and I could put hooks on this side. So I could use this space right here for hanging things. I think putting hooks right here are too low. I don't want things to be sitting on the floor. I don't think that's high enough. So it's going to have to come up a little bit like this. So what the best idea for that is, I'm not really exactly sure. But I'll have to ask my friend Bob. <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking up hooks. I don't, uh, maybe even like this, like a, I'm thinking like if it didn't come up like this right over here, but that it was more rounded like that. And then some hooks right here, things draped down here. That would make my life very convenient. Another thing that people have been wondering about is my Berkey. They're like, Lulu, you forgot to take the Berkey in. I have two Berkey. <laughs> so this one stays in the van. The other one is up in my little kitchen. If I wasn't going on a trip for another six months, I would empty this water, dry it all out, make sure it got dried out, put it away. But it doesn't matter because I'm taking off, uh, not next week, but the next week, going on a trip. And um, I'll tell you more about that another time. But what I'll do is, um, it could be that the filters might get a little dry, but they just need to be reprimed. Then they, it gets them all activated again. And then I'll empty what's in there, fill her back up again fill my bags full of water, go on my trip, pack her up with all my things again. And you know, um, I don't need all the same things for every trip. So when I take everything out, I take out, naturally I'm going to take out all the food, all the clothes, all the shoes. Okay. That's all coming in. I'm not going to have things just for the van, like outfits just for the van, because it depends on where I'm going, what the weather's going to be, what kind of clothes I want to bring what shoes I'm going to need. Like even this last trip, I brought all those shoes. I wore two pairs of sandals. Like I, I don't need to take like uh, my good hiking, walking shoes when I'm not going to be walking and hiking, chances are with, with the nature of whatever my visit is. It depends. Am I going in a parking lot and going to be in somebody's apartment? Am I going to be, you know, in my friend's, uh, parked in my friend's yard and I have access to her, her house? Am I going camping with his facilities or am I going to a campground with there's no facilities? So it all matters. It all matters on, you know, what I bring. I like to just start fresh with each trip. And um, um, what's really great about my space upstairs is I have such a small space that it's, it's not like I'm running all over the house trying to find things that I need. It's all in one, it's all in one space. And I know what I use every day because I really don't have much more than I use. So it makes it very simple. When you, when you simplify your life and get rid of the stuff, uh, it's very, very simple to pack. And I find it enjoyable. So yes, I could buy doubles and have double of this and one for here and one for there. But I enjoy, I, I enjoy just um, getting everything together and ready for imagining that trip and imagining what I'll need. And, um, it's just so fun. So I get, I have, um, uh, I have lots of things planned coming up that I'll share. Um, uh, I will be home from time to time, but I got some big stuff coming up in the future. <laughs> I got some big things. Oh, oh, mama mia. 
Oh, God bless me. So I'm going to shut my lights down. I love these lights, just an FYI. They, they're very um, perfect amount of light. And um, I'm going to say goodbye for now.